big old stretch of land to grow fruits and veggies and flowers, but you actually just need a teeny tiny space to create something pretty fun and magical. Now these things are called fairy gardens and they're little gardens that both kids and adults can get into. So I went to check them out for myself. Hey there guys, yeah, some people may have like a giant backyard and lots of space to create a big garden, but you also can do the same thing and indulge your green thumb with just a teeny tiny amount of space. Who says to garden you have to have tons of room or a serious green thumb? Let's say you live in an apartment. You don't have room for a big huge garden, but you can make a fairy garden. There's a lighthearted and whimsical way to work in a little nature fun. The thing is, is that kids love to do stuff like this. You can do that by making a fairy garden. So what's with the name? Well, a fairy garden is a place of imaginative pretend and make-believe. It's created as if a fairy would live there. Perfect for people without a ton of space. You can squeeze in a fairy garden just about anywhere. Because it's small enough that they can do it and you can do it in any container. Linda Dozier at Lowe's is always inspiring us with her creative of ideas. This is her mom's fairy garden. Actually, my mother's 80 years old. She says first thing with a fairy garden is to layer the bottom of your container with rocks. One of the things that you need to make sure you do with any kind of container garden, if you don't have it drainage, is to put some kind of rocks in there. So then that way um, the roots will not rot. Otherwise, they'll just be sitting in that water all the time. Next, pick one standout plant and cut it down to size. You get something like this, you got to cut it down because you don't want the whole, you can't Got fit it. that whole thing in there. So I just cut it down so that it was going to be shallow. And it'll live like that? It'll live like that, yes. Okay. And just cut it down and just cut those roots off. Next step, layer in some potting soil. The potting soil that I used is actually like a miracle Grow potting soil, so it has some nutrients and stuff in it. Finally, go to town. Get creative. Here she took an old bird bath, some twigs, broken pieces of a pot, and voila. It's just a small little potted area that you can have a lot of fun with. So the best way to get started may be to just kind of go through your garage, go through your attic, find some old things that you know you have anyway, like a, a bird bath or a bowl or an old flower pot or something like that, and then just start your fairy garden that way. And it looks tons of fun. Back to you guys. Well, the best part about uh, fairy gardens, of course, is you can be really elaborate. Yes, you can. Yeah, or yeah. just make it simple. But I can see like kids just really enjoying that. You can also have them, you know, inside or bring them outside. Oh, they would absolutely love that. But I'm just so impressed with all the things you can do with your garden. I just thought maybe it was a couple of plants. And <laughs> that was that. But well, I'm learning too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, still to